it's hard for me to even say like where or how a process starts sometimes. I know that for uh, the high ground, I was very disturbed by learning about uh, the events of the Tulsa Race Massacre. And it wasn't just the events themselves, it was the fact that I had not heard about it before. Um, um, and so just th things like that, where you have these these moments where people are able to be honest with you and then how that resonates with your own heart and mind, um, that's kind of what, what brought me into to writing the play. And when I wrote, when I wrote um, The High Ground, I, I didn't actually want it to be a, a period piece per se. I have written plays that have been set at the time, um, but in, in this case, I, I wanted it to be really about now and about the way that we, um, you know, uh, try to you know reconcile this irreconcilable thing like that that to me was what I wanted to explore or part of what I wanted to explore at the play you know and so that's always the challenge um, and the the beautiful thing about theater is to be able to make the most out of that moment um, so that we can uh, experience something transcendent transformative meaningful uh, true you know in that moment Nathan said so many interesting things in that um, piece uh, that resonate for me in, in my process as well. The importance of the geographic narrative, especially for us as African Americans, the journey, the movement, if you will, has always been such a part of our story. Not having place and being moved from place to place, fleeing from place to place. And uh, we've had to create a different kind of dramatic structure to allow for the, the movement within our stories. And, you know, that, that was very evident in my, uh, as I pursued, as Nathan would say, how do you tell this big, big, epic drama in this enclosed and tight uh, time and place called the theater?